So this one's for my coaches out there. What does your coaching agreement look like? You're all excited. You just signed up a new coaching client and you're ready to send them their contract. But what's in that contract? Well, you want to make sure that you outline those coaching services, whether it is for um, sort of a group program, whether it's one-on-one. Uh, in my template, I have a section called coaching services and you should put your package in there and let people know what they're getting. Are they getting Q&As, group call, individual coaching? Put that in. Next up, make sure you let folks know about these sessions. When do they occur? How often? Is it, you know, once a month, a couple times a month? How long do the sessions last? Are they half hour, one hour? Be clear so that your coaching clients know what to expect. All right, next, let's talk about fees. Who doesn't want to get paid, right? In terms of fees, again, make sure that you are explicit about the fee terms. Do they have to pay up front? Are you going to invoice them, have them pay later? Is it a flat fee or will they be charged monthly? My legal fitness template gives you a number of options. So choose one and let your clients know how you expect to be paid. Now, just a couple other things you want to keep in mind. For instance, in my agreements, I also have a section about client responsibilities. You want to make sure that the client knows that they are responsible for what they get out of your program. You don't want to be left feeling as if you're responsible for all of their financial, business, personal decisions that they make based on the counseling. So my templates make clear that there are no guarantees being made. Let folks know whether or not you grant refunds. When they can cancel, how much notice, they, do they have to give 24 hours notice, 48 hours notice. And then I have one other handy clause in there. It's called a non-disparagement clause. A lot of coaches use this in their programs because you don't want people coming in, getting a taste of your program, and then talking bad about it later. And to piggyback on that, there's also confidentiality provisions that keep people from spilling the tea from what goes on inside of your program. And this is particularly important when it comes to group programs where people are sharing personal and vulnerable information. And of course, it protects your IP too. So if you're interested in my coaching agreement, you can check it out at legalfitness.com.